To create a screenshot on a Chromebook, you're going to hold down Control and the Show Window screen. The Show Window screen is a square with two lines, and that takes a screenshot of the entire screen. Alternately, if you want just a portion of the screen, you can hold down Control and Shift and the Show Windows button, and that will bring up crosshairs, and you can click and drag to select what portion of the screen you want to take a screenshot of. Now you can copy this screenshot to a clipboard and paste it wherever you want it to go, or it is saved into your files on the Chromebook. Now, since it's on a Chromebook, it's not actually saved on the device. It goes immediately to your Google Drive, but you can find it by going to the launcher, or we call it the donut menu, and you can click on the F arrow if you're not seeing your files right away. Click on Files. And when they open, you could try Recent. And it's probably going to be the first one or two things that are sitting there. Or you can open up your Google Drive and scroll down to the Recents. And there are your screenshots. Let's learn how to make a screenshot on a PC. This will work on a laptop or a desktop PC or a Windows device. One of the quickest ways is to use the print screen button. Sometimes you're going to have to use the FN button and the print screen, or you may just click the print screen button. Now it looks like nothing happens, but what it does is it copies the whole screen for you and then you have to paste it somewhere. So we're going to pull up a Google Doc and use Control V for paste and there is our screenshot. Now it gave us the entire screen but if we wanted to get maybe just a portion of the screen rather than the whole screen we're going to have to do something different than just the print screen button. So let's do something different. Let's say we want just this paragraph and not the whole screen. We're going to go over here to our start menu and we're gonna scroll through and find something called the snip and sketch tool. Now this is with your Windows 10. If you are using an older Windows operating system, you will find the snipping tool and it will do pretty much the same thing. It'll look a little different, but it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. So you're gonna click new and it's going to give you these crosshairs and it says draw a shape to create a screen snip. We're going to click and drag across what we want to snip. When we let go, it creates the snip of what we want. And here we can mark on it or do whatever we want to do. I want to save it. And then we've got it saved. So I'm going to name it Snip and just save it. And there we have a screenshot of what we need to do. And you can place it wherever you need it to go. All right, to create a screenshot on a MacBook, you can do it one of two ways. You can hold down Command, Shift, and 3 to take a screenshot of your entire screen. It automatically creates a screenshot of the whole screen. And then you have all the doodads that you can fix it up however you want to. Or if you just want a select portion, you can hold down Command, Shift, and 4 and you have these crosshairs that will come up. And you can select just what portion you want to see by clicking and dragging. And then when you release, it will pull up the selection that you chose to take a screenshot of. And this will save wherever you choose for it to save. I have mine set on desktop, but you can choose wherever you want for your screenshot to be saved.